those of you just joining us, we're making up a, ro a roasted squash salad. This is a maple Dijon vinaigrette that I made a few minutes ago. My name is Dr. PK Newby, and my blog is The Nutrition Doctors in the Kitchen. On my blog, I bring together concepts of sound science, nutrition, and sustainability, and show you how to bring that onto your plate in really, really delicious ways. I do have a cooking video on the blog where I roast squash. So if you want more information, you should go and check it out. You can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash pknewbie. Feel free to go ahead and visit there and like the page. Okay, let's put this together. What else are we gonna add to that, by the way? We're also gonna add some dried cranberries. But not raspberries. That's the other salad. Yes, cranberries. Cranberries, squash, and we need some greens. A really great way to deal with greens is to, when you get them home, you're gonna take them, you put them in this bowl, fill this up with water, let them sit for a few minutes, give them a little stir, all the sand will go to the bottom, put them out here to dry. This is what my counter looks like at least once a week. Um, oftentimes more. And then you end up having your own sort of salad in a bag. You can put that right back into a bag. Uh, I don't know where my bags are. Um, and they're in the fridge for the week. <laughs> Thanks. Well, you have to get the chives first. <laughs> I was pretty excited about these. I had never seen these. And they're really very tasty. Now, Normally, I would put toasted walnuts on this. I'm a little ambivalent because I wanted to make all my salads different, so I'm not going to, but I'm a big fan of nuts on salad. Why is that? Nuts are really good for you. You can't think about fats all as fat, right? We have saturated fat, there's trans fat. I spoke about monounsaturated fat, like olive oil and canola oil. And when it comes to nuts, they're also high in all of these wonderful polyunsaturated, monounsaturated fats, heart healthy, okay? And also, even though they are high in calories, so you don't want to be sort of eating cups and cups of them, right? But they're really heart healthy, and as long as you maintain your portions, they're really, really good for you. And even some research has shown they absolutely can be part of a weight-reducing diet. Because of their fats, they help you to keep full and obviously delicious. And this goes for peanut butter as well. So I have a long post of this on my blog and this one post I wrote up on peanut butter was to this date one of the most popular posts I've ever written because people were like, peanut butter? No, that we can't have that. It's, it's bad for you, it's fattening. No, peanut butter is great and great source of protein, great source of fiber. <laughs> Back to the salad. So I'm not gonna add my nuts because I'm gonna save my walnuts for my pear walnut and arugula salad. But if you want to add a little bit more protein to this or you're making it at home, you want to make it add some grains, some quinoa, brown rice, whatever, here's your salad. So do we want to taste it or should I move to salad two and three? 